98% of you are not subscribed, so please hit the subscribe button down below. Now let's get into the video. David Michael Hasselhoff was born on July 17, 1952, in Baltimore, Maryland, to Dolores Therese and Joe Hasselhoff, a business executive. He is of German, English, and Irish descent. The acting bug first hit when David was seven, and so he took acting, singing and dancing lessons. He was very shy off stage in front of girls because he was tall and thin, but when he was on stage he was in his element. Due to his father's work, his family moved around frequently. He initially thought his career was going to go in the direction of musicals and Broadway. David Hasselhoff has been famous for decades, ever since he beefcaked through four seasons with a talking Trans Am on Knight Rider and served as the bare-chested voice of reason on Baywatch, alongside a slew of swimsuited playmates posing as lifeguards. Those shows were so popular in the 1980s and 90s, when weekly audience estimates reached 1.1 billion worldwide, that Hasselhoff still holds the Guinness World Record for most watched man on television. But Berlin, for him, is about more than fame. Or, more specifically, it's about a different kind of fame. It's about a moment that cast a TV star with a piano scarf as an unexpected cultural ambassador. Hasselhoff singing is something you rarely see in the United States. At home, he's narrowly defined as a TV actor whose pop credentials, if they're even known, are a ready punchline. Here, he's a star. Hasselhoff first gained recognition on The Young and the Restless, 1975-1982, playing the role of Dr. Snapper Foster. His career continued with his leading role as Michael Knight on Knight Rider, 1982-1986, and as L.A. County lifeguard Mitch Buchanan in Baywatch, 1989-2000. Today, a framed photo of his performance hangs at the city's Checkpoint Charlie Museum, next to images of then-Vice President George H.W. Bush and Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Shamir. The moment is why he's revered here. And it's why, on a Thursday night in October 2019, Hasselhoff still packs Max Schmeling Hall, with more than 5,000 fans delirious over the chance to hear him in concert. Thank you for watching this video. Please share, subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.